I've never had Nigerian food. I've always wanted to try it, and I'm excited. All the best foods are eaten with your hands. Yeah. Everyone knows that. And people who don't know that are wrong. This was delicious. I had a great time eating all of that, and I wish it was more mainstream so I could eat that jollof rice anywhere. It was so good. A lot of our cultures around the world, especially food-wise, have stemmed from there, and I feel like it's just what a great experience that we're missing out on. Did you know that before some of the now popular American dishes became staples in the North and South America, many of the fruits, vegetables, and legumes in the United States came from Africa? If you want to know how, then you need to keep watching. and welcome to mantis eye on ideascope media youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by today we are discussing a list of american foods that are from africa a lot of american food came from africa through the atlantic slave trade between the 16th and 19th century although southern chefs often receive credit for showcasing certain heritage foods on their menus without crediting its african roots we hope that with this documentary about african crops and foods you will be able to appreciate the african cuisines its diversity and savoriness the okra plant also known as okra among the yoruba speakers in nigeria a lady's finger among the Americans is native to West Africa, though sometimes the origin is attributed to Ethiopia. During the Atlantic slave trade, mothers braided okra seeds into their children's hair to provide them with an inheritance in an unknown land. Upon arrival to America, enslaved workers from many different Western African nations began to make okra dishes drawing on the cuisines and recipes of their homelands. Okra became the go-to food for Africans, providing them with the sustenance they need when food was forcibly limited by slaveholders. Across Western Africa, okra soup is made with an assemblage of various vegetables cooked into a delicious mixture of palm oil, shrimps, goat meat, fish, and African spices that is simmered to perfection. This loaded okra soup is a staple in some West African countries like Nigeria, Ghana, and Cameroon. Over time, Southern Americans learned from Africa on how to savor the slippery juice that the tender okra pods exude when they are sliced into a delicious meal. Variations of Western African okra dishes became Louisiana's rule gumbo, South Carolina and Georgia's ruleless gumbo, Maryland's crab gumbo, New Orleans chicken and sausage gumbo. Other dishes like fried okra and stewed okra with tomatoes soon became a hallmark of African Americans and subsequently the Southern cuisine. <music> Contrary to the notion that watermelon is mainly an American food item, especially in the southern states, the fruit actually hails from Africa, namely Egypt and South Africa, but its prototype was originally a bitter melon. The ancient Egyptians are thought to have cultivated this melon from a wild strain that grew in the area. Scientists have found evidence of the watermelon in this country from seed discovered in tomb. Remains of watermelon were also found in tombs of the kings where they were left as food for the diseased in the afterlife. Its popularity in the hot desert region can be attributed to the high amount of water that watermelon contains. Watermelons were brought to America by European colonists and by slave trade from Africa. The first ones were grown in Florida in the 16th century. Later in the 17th century, they were grown in Massachusetts, Peru, 
Brazil, Panama, and many British and Dutch colonies. Watermelon came in full force when slaves won their emancipation during the Civil War. Free black people grew, ate, and sold watermelon, and in doing so, made the fruit a symbol of their freedom. <laughs> Oftentimes, many people associate coffee with South America, Brazil in particular, but Ethiopia is the birthplace of the world's premier coffee. Coffee grown worldwide can trace its heritage back centuries to the ancient coffee forest on the Ethiopian plateau. There, a legend says the goat herder Kaldi first discovered the potentials of these beloved beans. Kaldi discovered coffee after he noticed that his goats became so energetic after eating the berries of a certain tree which made them stood awake all night. Kaldi reported his findings to the abbot of the local monastery who made a drink with the berries and found that it kept him alert through the long hours of evening prayer. And not until then did the knowledge of the energizing berries Began. Coffee was traded through the Middle East, Asia, and Europe before being taken to the Americas by European colonizers. The crop success there was dependent on the slave trade. This, there was an arrangement whereby European colonial powers established colonies in tropical areas suitable for coffee growing, like the Caribbean, Asia, Central, and South America. They would then import slaves from Africa to these colonies to labor on the coffee plantation before exporting the coffee back to Europe, thus creating a triangle. So, the deep cultural knowledge system that Americans now have from knowing how to take a coffee bean to knowing when and how to roast it and then turn it into a delicious beverage all developed from the Ethiopian highland where it originated. So, when next you go on a vacation to the US and you happen to savor your palais with a delicious okra delicacy, a juicy watermelon, or the popular black coffee, always remember that it is just a soup con of how rich the African delicacies are. On a second thought, instead of taking the vacation to the U.S., why not just take a trip down to Africa to experience all of these amazing meals? Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these African foods in the comment section. And if you have not already subscribed, kindly click that subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Bye.